Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video what we will be doing is covering um, object masking or material masking inside of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, we'll be baking out the mask inside of uh, Blender so that we can use it with this model that we created in the previous tutorial so that we can change like different parts of the model's um, color on the fly. So like for here you can see that oh, that changes the section of that model over there if we just give it like maybe a little bit of a gold color and uh, this changes the edges and this color changes like everything that piece like in, in between over there so it gives you like a options for variations in color in your model uh, you can also use it later for roughness values and things like that so that is the purpose of the tutorial. If you um, need the model, it is in a link in the description down below. Download it if you just want to follow along and let's get started. All right, so here is the model that I created. As always, it is in the link in the description down below. So if you don't want to create your own model, but you still would like to follow along, then you can just download it and open it and then uh, we can follow along from there. So you can see that here is three different colors assigned to the model already, the red, green and blue channel. Now what I did, you can see that this part is completely separate to the model. So this doesn't affect. So that was easy. I just went over to materials. I clicked add a new material, gave it a color, which is full on green and then assigned it. But the other one was a little bit harder. Let's just unhide that. Ah, still doing it. There we go. Um, because this material, this, the model is completely, it's part of, um, or it's connected to the, all the other pieces of the model. It looks a little bit strange. Um, so in order for me to actually give it like a a proper um, or a different material, you would have to first uh, select all the areas that you want to be a different color. So for me, what I do is I select like the middle, I hold control. And then as you select along, it will select everything like in between and so on. And then you click new. So there's a new material slot, create a new material. You can give it a name if you want, you can call it anything, uh, it doesn't matter. So if we call this one green, obviously we're gonna have to make it green or you can make it a different color and just confuse everyone. Um, so then here at the bottom, you select the diffuse color. So let's make this green, full on green, blue zero, red zero. And then if you click assign, it will assign a color to all the selected areas uh, that you had currently in your selection. So um, I wanted to stay blue for the sake of uh, the tutorial, but that is if you want like different patches of your model to like uh, show up different colors. Uh, this isn't going to affect the color of your model itself, but it will affect the mask inside of Unreal Engine 4. Okay, so that is how I did that. Uh, let's just quickly so um, do that like the whole baking process now this is going to work very similar to well identical to creating a normal map um so let's just go over to our model you can see i already like fooled around and baked the texture over there on the different layer so first we would need to select our high polygon model now i do this holding control left click and dragging so that i make sure i select both pieces holding shift, left clicking on the layer option, and then right clicking while still holding shift so that I have, I think I might actually have deselected it because it was already selected. Uh, let's try that again. Shift, right clicking, there you go. Okay, that's very weird. Let's try again. There we go. I can see that it is selected over there. Then you just go over to your renders tab and go over instead of normal map as your bake option. If you remember normal map and you click bake, it bake this texture out. If you go over to just clicking textures and you click bake, it will bake the colors out. And that is what we want. Now you might have to play around with your bias. If it's a bit high, you'll see that you might get some edge bleeding over there. So mine, I found that 0.1 does work. And you'll notice also that I have these strange artifacts. That is because I have very sharp corners over there. They're unavoidable. I clean them up afterwards in a 
program like GIMP or Photoshop where I just make them the solid color. But for the purpose of this tutorial, it's perfectly fine. Then I'm just going to click save as image, save over the mask. And if you haven't done so before, um, the way to export the models by right clicking your low polygon model file, export FBX, just give it a name, selected objects here at the bottom left, geometries, you give it edge smoothing and armatures. Let's add leaf bones, but we don't have an armature in, so it doesn't matter. And you can export. And when you jump over to Unreal Engine 4, and you've already imported your model, if you do not know how to do this, uh, please follow one of the other tutorials um, where I show you how to export a model. It would be a little bit easier for you to understand and uh, not really for me to like drag out this tutorial out longer than what it should be. Okay, so now I have like the original cubes that we created in the previous video, the smooth, the one with the normal map applied to it, and now we have a blank one over here. So I'm gonna take the material for the one that we created here with the normal map, duplicate it, and I'm just going to call it mask material. And then I'm gonna click file import. There is my mask over there. Click import. Go and open my material. Drag in the mask. And now I'm gonna show you what we're going to do is apply different colors to each one of these RGB channels. Okay, so selecting your color, I'm gonna hit, sh hit Shift C, Shift V, and Shift C and Shift V again, so that I have two nodes or three nodes with uh, with uh, that are my color values. But I'm gonna give them each different color. So this one I'm gonna make like a a bluish teal, and then this I'm going to make a green just so that we can get like some variation in the color. Then I'm going to break the link over here. I'm going to right click and type in lerp and there where it says math linear interpolate. I'm going to use that. Feed the orange color into A, the blue color into B, and then I'm going to take the red channel from my texture sample here and feed that into alpha. And if I feed that into my base color, click save. This isn't the final setup, but just quickly for you to show you what happens. Now we have the material over here, and if we put it onto our cube, you'll see that there we go. So everything that's red essentially becomes... Uh, so basically what it does, it takes like the difference between the two colors here. It says like red will be used for this one over here. So if I actually change the color here, uh, you'll see that it does change the model color inside of Unreal Engine 4. Then you get some nice uh, different variation in your colors. But now I want a different material because here now I can only change like two different colors, but I want to change like, I made this one green uh, in my mask and I want to change that into a different color as well. So we're just going to take the lerp and duplicate it, or you can just add a new one. I'm gonna feed the result of this lerp into A and then I'm going to feed the green channel into B. I'm going to feed here green into the alpha. And then I'm just going to click that the base color. Now when you click apply, you'll see that you have the three different colors. Let's actually just bring up the material again. So now if I select a different color, you'll see that it changes the middle part over here. And if I select a different color here, it changes over there, and a different color, it changes over there. Now, if you want to get into more intricate details about where you want to use everything, a third lerp might be required where we feed the blue channel in. Uh, but for the purposes of this particular model, this is more than sufficient. Later on, we can cover on how you would set different roughness values as well. And we can even use textures um, to give different colors as well. So let's say if you want like this part to be like super shiny, but this part must be like a matte color. Uh, we can set all those values using the mask. 
and then later we'll turn that into a material instance but i don't want to get into too many things right now um, so this is just all for if you um, just want to use basic masking just to like use different colors on your model so if you like what you saw please subscribe to the channel i will be um, putting out more and more content as time goes by I am also working on some free models that I will be releasing soon, uh, which are all going to be like sci-fi based um, hard surface models. So keep an eye out for that. So please subscribe, leave a comment if there's something you want to see. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, you can leave a dislike. And thank you all very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.